Hi, my name is Tomas Gornik, and I'm the CEO of Better. Today, I'd like to talk to you about composable applications for health and care, and how we at Better see the future of health IT. The issues with current systems have been well documented. Many articles talk about death by a thousand clicks and why doctors hate computers. Bob, in his keynote, talked at length about physician burnout. And these are all serious issues. Combine that with the changing nature of healthcare delivery and new business models. And it's quite clear why 60% of doctors today, according to this Stanford Medicine poll, talk about the need for a complete overhaul of electronic health records. Understanding this, we had better have made our mission to simplify the work of care teams to improve lives. Now let's talk about composable applications in health and care. When you think about how we procure systems today, it's very much when, like when you go to a restaurant that has a set menu. You buy the whole bundle and some features you need and a lot of others which you don't. Contrast that to the tapas restaurants, where you actually only pay for what you need, or in this case, eat. Now, that's a much more compelling proposition when thinking about how you want to consume application functionality. You might even end up paying more, but you would only be paying for what you actually need and use. Now, in some cases, what is offered is not enough. So you would be offered ingredients with which you could make your own tapas. This in essence is what the composable architecture brings to health IT. Another trend which is quite uh, obvious is that consumer capabilities and business, in this case, clinical capabilities are starting to drive technology instead of the other way around, which what we've been used to up to now. Now, this means that the way you consume application functionality for your personal life using apps downloaded from an app store is very similar to what you will see in the future uh, for the applications uh, to run your business. Now, there's two fundamental differences which you must take into account. In order for this to work in the business environment, all of these apps have to start speaking to the same data. Otherwise, the integration will be just overwhelming. And the second one is, since you're dealing with, in this case, a single patient, you would actually want the different apps to somehow work in a similar way have a similar user experience. So user experience and the data layer are key components of Composable if we want to use the same type of uh, innovation and uh, ease of use that we are accustomed to in our personal life, also in our daily business. Now, the way we see this at Better is that, of course, we provide a data platform that underpins everything we do. It includes data as part of a longitudinal health record, but also data collected by patients at home, and of course, legacy data integrated into the platform. On top of that is a layer which holds applications, algorithms, uh, workflows, some of these applications are uh, existing and of course, some of them are new. And then through the APIs exposed by this layer and using low code tools like our Better Studio, you can now design, build, assemble personalized experiences in order to provide integrated care. And you can do this whether you are um, an acute, a mental health, community trust, integrated care system, region, or government. So the digital health platform that we provide is well proven in over 120 installations. 
It works on open standards like open, open EHR. And of course, it has proven performance and scalability. The studio is a low code platform that enables you to use the data models from the platform to help you quickly develop forms, widgets for entry and display of data. It, they then run on web and mobile and are preloaded with a lot of content, assessments, scales, and forms. As applications go, our OpenEP, which has been rebranded to Better Meds, provides end-to-end -end medication optimization for inpatient e-prescribing. And it's been adopted by seven trusts in the last two years in the UK alone. I talked about the need for two things, a common data layer and common UX. To make sure that we can have consistency across the apps, at Better we have developed a design system which helps the apps work in the same way across the ecosystem. And to explain this in detail, uh, let me ask our head of design, Sama Achko, to present the Better Design System. A truly great clinical application will combine the ease of use of its interface with maximum clarity of the content it delivers, tailor-made for each of the many different clinical environments. We wanted to provide doctors and nurses with beautiful digital tools without compromising on the quality of information. To succeed at it, it was not enough to design just a good-looking application. We had to design a set of tools that will enable us to reproduce beauty, functionality and simplicity into any digital tool we create. We wondered how can design support faster, affordable and scalable development. We needed a design system. A design system for interfaces consists of basic elements which can be combined differently according to the specific needs. Each part of the design system is designed, coded and guided by clear principles. As a result, creating a unified look and consistent experiences across products becomes much easier and faster. Instead of building components from scratch, a design system enables designers and developers to reuse components and in that way increasing efficiency. But even more importantly, once production is streamlined, designers can shift their focus from interface elements to where it really matters, to the user. What constitutes information in a clinical environment? Is it a number, a value, label, a trend? What is the best way of presenting information to the user in a clinical setting? And how can we upgrade the display of data to improve doctors' and nurses' overview of the patient? We designed a limited set of rudimental components, able to show a remarkable variety of clinical data. A few building blocks that can be reused to display vital signs, lab analytes, scores, medications, orders, documents and more. Once thoughtfully assembled, the components can display almost any structured clinical content. Creating intuitive applications and clear content visualization for different clinical contexts is of paramount importance for better data to really translate into better care. At Better, we have been in health IT for over 30 years. We've grown to 120 employees. Our systems manage 22 million patient records. We built platforms, tools, and applications, have deployed them with 120 customers in 15 markets using the help of 16 partners. In the UK, we have over 30 customers that have deployed our platform in all corners of the kingdom. We're very proud that just recently, Gartner recognized us as one of the companies building digital health platforms, which is a new area just recently defined by Gartner. And I'm sure that Mike Jones, at the end of the day, will talk more about this in greater detail. So let's summarize. Healthcare is changing, 
and health and care workers are demanding an overhaul of EHR systems. Clinical and consumer capabilities are starting to drive the technology, not the other way around. Composable apps are the future, but they must be underpinned by a common data layer and consistent UX. You should leverage your existing IT investment and improve it by adding a digital health platform to assemble your solutions for the future. At Better, we provide a proven platform, tools, apps, and a design system to jumpstart your ecosystem. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.